Hey folks, so today we have received our new styluses to accompany your iPad. So this is your first look at it. It is referred to as the Jam Jake stylus pen, but it is very similar to the Apple Pencil 1. So just to look at the mechanics of it, um, if you look at the very tip, you'll see it's just plain white. Uh, there is a replaceable stylus that comes with two little extra styli tips that you can replace. There are directions on my website on how to replace those, but you simply pull them out and put another one in. Um, so I leave these somewhere handy. If you'd like me to hang on to them, uh, feel free to give them to me and I will keep a stash for folks that need them. The charging port is a USB-C. It does come with a very short USB-C cable that you can plug into it and then um, plug the other end into your hub, for example, for your computer so that way you can hub it, uh, charge it. It is also a, since it's a USB-C, it is also the same charging port style um, as your laptop comes with. Then the very top is, a, is your on off button. And so if we look down at the light, as we touch it, it will turn the light on. As we touch it again, it will turn it off. So if you find that to be troublesome because it keeps on turning on and off, then one of my friendly coworkers, Mr. Avery, has started to put his cap on the end so that way he doesn't turn it on and off by accident. Um, so turn it on, put the cap on, go about your business to use it, and then you're good to go. In terms of what the lights mean, the blue light that you see here means that it is working, so I can use this with my computer. A red light will indicate that it is charging, and a green light will indicate that it is fully charged. So that's your introduction to your stylus. The next video that you'll see, or the next section, will be about how to actually use this with your iPad. Now that you have learned about how to start up your Jam Jake stylus, now let's look at how to actually turn it on and use it with your iPad. So I'm in system settings or the settings app in your iPad and then you're going to scroll down on the left hand side until you see Apple Pencil and then you can enable it to draw with your Apple Pencil and also enable it to scribble and so scribble is turning handwriting into type. So if we say try scribble then we can use the stylus and it will show you how it automatically converts it into text. This isn't available everywhere, um, but it is a pretty handy feature. Now let's look at how to use it with um, Jamboard, which is one of the common ways that you'll be able to, or easy ways that you'll be able to create a whiteboard. Um, so we'll come into Jamboard and then click on the plus symbol in order to get started. And Basically, this acts just like your finger would have. However, you can change all of your writing utensils, and now you can actually start writing just like you would with a writing utensil. And with this particular one, if I click on the marker tool and then open up the assistive drawing tool in Jamboard, I'm then able to select text to typing and so I can repeat the same process here and Jamboard will try to determine what the text was that I was writing. Sometimes this does a better job than others but you'll get used to it um, and then we can also do things like shapes okay and we can also use AutoDraw, which if you haven't experimented with AutoDraw yet, I highly recommend it, especially now that you have an iPad because it's super duper fun. Um, but we can turn ourselves into, this might be so bad that Google might not even understand what I'm looking for, <laughs> but it will let you automatically use AutoDraw in order to distinguish what your shapes are. So that's a basic overview of how to use your new stylus. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd be more than happy to help.